Now, he and Rufus are making their way to an abandoned communication center in the hopes of discovering the location of the final Judger artifact. Volterites! This can't be a coincidence. How'd they know about this place? Information is relatively cheap on board. You just have to know where to shop. Still, it doesn't feel right. You up for a little skull busting? Always! It looks like the Funkies are trying to tear the joint apart. They're trying to stop us from learning the location of the artifact. Let's dodge you more trigger for it. That's the spirit. Let's give them hell, Cal. looking for a room with a huge screen keep your radio open I'll guide you through it the room we were talking about. The big screen says system offline. Right. Well, first of all, we're going to have to set the antennas so they chase your signal. If Yelena can transfer the signal frequencies or dictate them to you, you can calibrate the frequency mainframe, which is in the next room. Talk it out with Yelena. I'm kind of busy here. Yelena, do you read? I need... I'm already on it, Commander. Follow my markers. I'll give you the frequencies when we reach the mainframe. Yelena! Yes, 
I found that mainframe. Good. Activate it. And I'll transfer the subspace signal frequencies. Now all you need to do is trigger the triangulation process from the control room. Aw, oh, come on! What's wrong, Cal? The power just went off. Again. What the hell did you do down there? Nothing. The power went off after I calibrated the mainframe. The system hasn't been started in years. Probably just overloaded. Simple restart ought to do the trick. Uploading markers. Good. I'm back in the control room. Everything seems to be up and functional. What next? Next is you pressing the big magic button on the control panel. You can't miss it. Finally. 
ye shall receive. See this reading over here? Ten to one says that's the toy for which you and your lady are looking. Perfect. Thanks. Let's not crack open the champagne yet. We still got a ways to go. We? You think I intend to slink back to my watering hole and miss out on the jolly times ahead? Your call, but our deal was just for the- Cow, as fun as it is to lose myself to inebriation while debating intergalactic politics of bygone eras with old convicts waiting in bars for their time to die. I think I'd rather shoot at things with my old friend. Yelena! Yes, We've got coordinates and we're en route to the artifact. Prepare evac. Roger that. There's an old mech compound nearby, if we're lucky. Say no more. Transmitting the coordinates for the mech compound. I'll meet you outside. might reset the locking mechanisms, paralyze the power modules. Genius, the credit it so blatantly deserves. Let's move.
Look at these low lives. Stealing scrap. <laughs> guns and navigation. Ah, oh, man! This carries me back. No time for elegant approaches. Blast the gate! That is the welcoming committee. Top of the morning, kid. <laughs> That's right. Where is that the cat? Enjoying yourself back there? You have no idea. Right. Between you and, uh, uh, what was the name? That sweet little number you met while we were stationed on Theta. The one with the green eyes. The one with the green eyes? Yeah, and the last. The last? Yeah, yeah. And when she laughed, it was like two people laughing at the same time. There's an army of Volcarites putting a lot of effort into ending our lives right now. You want to talk about a girl I knew on Theta? What do you want to talk about? Nothing. Was it Rachel? Rufus. Remember our friend, the one with the... Oh, uh, you know. With the what? You know, the spectacular... Remember, and we were all out one night. We stuck on the base, and I was trying to show off, and I ended up blowing one of our comm satellites up in orbit, remember? And the whole night sky, it was like a freaking oil painting all of a sudden, you remember? What's the maker? What's the maker? Cal? I don't know her name. I never did. Well, me. to me. She never told me her name. You're kidding me! I am not. You are with her for what? Like months? A year? Something like that. And you never learned her name. That's right. What the hell did you call her that? I don't know. Name. Whatever crossed my mind. She answers all of That's kind of messed up. That was kind of our thing. Close, but not close. But close. So whatever happened to her? War broke out. We left Theta. That's what happened. Ever think you're going back? Track her down? Call her up? Hey, there you been? That's right! Go on, huh? Say I find it. Then Then you say, hey you with no name, let's go grab some nachos! What do you mean? What? Okay, and after that? Then you eat the nachos! Some drinks! Go back to our place, meet her parents, get married! Are you serious? Yeah, make some little babies, move to one of those eight, seven homes! Finally, get some peace and break it quiet! Spend your morning staring into those green eyes. Eight, seven moons? Yeah. Those are those artificial moons you 
great paradise. Who are we talking about here, Rufus? You or me? What's the difference, mate? Right, right. Back to that in a sec. Tell me this, before you told Yelena, who knew about the Boreas artifact? Only the Judger Council possessed the information you mentioned. Then maybe you can explain how the Volterites stayed a few steps ahead of us during this goose chase. How is it that everywhere I go, there they are? How did they even know about this artifact? What you are suggesting is... What I'm suggesting is that you Judgers should do some house cleaning. One of you is helping the Volterites build that weapon of catastrophic power. A Judger would never do such as you describe. We are impartial. We observe. We correct. We balance. Yeah? Well, maybe this is someone's idea of a correction. It was your people who first recovered one of the artifacts. Your people who activated it, alerting the Volterites to its very existence and potential. And what about the other two? 
The artifact on Therius? The one here on Boreas? Who alerted the Volterites to those? Your words are the words of a being scrambling to shake off the shackles of blame, Cal Warden. My message to you is simple. Listen to me. It is you who will listen, for I speak as the voice of the judges, and we shall be heard. If the weapon on Volteron becomes functional, we will be forced to pass judgment upon your races. We will find you both guilty of endangering the very fabric of this universe. With our goal of being the protection of life and the integrity of this dimension, we shall be forced to sentence you both to oblivion. What the hell are you saying? We shall forever erase all traces of both human and Volterite civilizations, rendering it as though neither of your two young races ever evolved. Ha! <laughs> I assure you that such a measure is well within our power, and we will not hesitate to see this through. You could stop this! If you're so powerful, if you wanted to, you could stop the Volterites from building that weapon! Indeed we could. But you are the ones who must prove that you have the strength and the resolve to stop yourselves from pushing the galaxy to the brink of destruction. You must demonstrate that you have it in you to correct your mistakes. Only then will we show you clemency. Travel to Volteron and destroy the weapon. Do this, and the future might yet hold a place for you. Do not, and you will be erased from history. What do you choose, Cal Warden? What kind of sick super being sits back and twiddles its thumbs while the little guys run around and do their dirty work? We need an answer from you, and we need it now. Fine. Good. Your decision pleases us. There may still be hope for humans and Volterites. The Prometheus? Yes, Cal Warden. When it's all said and done, when the dust settles... Yes. You're going to teleport me to Theta, and you're going to get me one of those H7 moves. I'm going to settle down there and... Get a dog, start a family or something, and then you're all gonna leave me the hell alone. <laughs>